Hello and welcome to Notebook Videos. In today's lesson, we are covering a very interesting and fun topic, Shadow Story. To start off, we are going to a local village fair where Udit is present along with his father for a very special show. Let's see how this unfolds. Udit spots a distinctly vibrant tent at the fair. The tent has a sign that reads out, Togalu Gombeyata. Udit is curious to know what's happening inside this tent. Upon noticing Udit visibly excited, his father smiles and says, You want to go inside that tent? We are in for a treat, son. The two have now entered the tent and seated in their places. Udit looks at the screen and it's a wonderful show about animals in a jungle. But something about this play was off. Udit wasn't sure about how these images were formed. This kind of show is called Togalu Gombeyata, a form of puppetry that's practiced in Karnataka. The images here are formed with shadows of skillfully manipulated hand poses or cut-out objects in front of light sources. Can you make any animals with shadow puppetry? If not, try making poses shown on screen to make your own shadow puppets. Now that we know how to make fun shadow puppets, let us try another fun exercise with lights and shadows. Rohan is out shopping with his mother during the noontime. He notices that his shadow appears to be shorter than him and this is because the sun is directly above him. But in the evening, Rohan's shadow looks gigantic and this is because the sun is very low in the sky. Come on, I have an exercise in mind that's going to help us understand this better. This box-like shape is called a cube. Now we take a torch and put light on this cube from this point. Notice how the cube now forms a shadow? But what happens when we place the torch here? See how the shape of the shadow changes when we change the direction of this light. We can try the same exercise with other objects too as shown on your screen. You should try this with objects around you like a party hat, shoe box and a ball. For our next topic, I need you to gather objects from your surroundings like pencil box, matchsticks, eraser, a leaf and a bottle cap. For the next step, we shall trace these objects. Keep your pencil box on a sheet of paper and trace its outline like so. What kind of shape does it form? This looks like a rectangle. Well, how about this bottle cap? Tracing a bottle cap makes a circle shape. This eraser will form another rectangle and tracing this leaf will give us, well, a leaf shape. With that, we have reached towards the end of this video lesson. Fret not, we have more videos coming up for this lesson. Until then, stay safe and goodbye.